Hi guys, it's me, Professor D, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. On this video, I'm going to be going over testicular cancer. Now, before we get started, as always, I'm going to ask you to please support me and support this channel by liking this video. Go ahead and press that like button now. You're going to love the video. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And don't forget, I'm now offering next generation NCLEX reviews. I'm offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. And while you go to my website, nexusnursinginstitute.com, and you're checking that out, don't forget to also check out the audio lessons that I have available. Make sure you book your review. If you graduated already and you're studying for your boards, I have made this review more than affordable. Why? Because I want you to take this review, understand how to answer these questions, understand how to look at these questions so you can answer them appropriately. So if you are graduated and you're studying for your boards, take this review. Go ahead and reserve your spot. Again, nexusnursinginstitute.com. Also, almost daily, you can find me covering a variety of nursing topics on my other social media platforms, such as TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. I haven't been on there for the past couple of days. I've been really sick. I'm actually getting over whatever this is that I have. But almost daily, you can find me covering a variety of topics. So be sure to check me out on my other social media platforms. So without any further ado, let's get started. Look at what it says. So testicular cancer is the most common type of cancer in young men between 15 and 44 years age, years of age. So this is something that's different because usually when it comes to cancer, it's usually what? Older people, right? The the older your age, the higher your risk uh, factor, your um risk factors for cancer, but when it comes to testicular cancer, we actually see this in younger men. Look at this between 15 to 44 years of age. That's important to know. Uh, testicular tumors are more common in males who have undescended testes. This is known as cryptocortism or family history or testicular cancer anomalies. That is important for you to know. NCLEX expects you to know that. NCLEX expects you to know that um, this is seen more in the males that had undescended testes. That's number one. And number two, NCLEX expects for you to know that this is seen um, very often in younger men, because that's something that's not normally expected when it comes to cancer. So make sure you know both of those. Let's go down to clinical um, manifestations and complications. We're right here. It says that the patient may notice a painless, and we know that about cancer. That's why cancer is so deadly. Pa whatever, you know, that mass is growing, it'll be painless. By the time the patient actually feels pain, it's already metastasized, right? So they'll feel a painless lump in the scrotum. They may have scrotal swelling, feeling of heaviness, heavy sensation. Only about 10% of those that do have um, testicular cancer in the early stages will feel pain. Usually it's painless. Diagnostic studies. Okay, so it says palpation of the scrotal contents. This is the first step in diagnosing testicular cancer. A cancerous mass is firm and it does not transilluminate. If you watch my last video, I talked about the flashlight and transillumination. When it comes to testicular cancer, there will be no transillumination. Ultrasound of the testes is indicated whenever testicular cancer is suspected. How are you gonna suspect it? Obviously, if there's a palpable mass, or there's persistent or painful testicular uh, swelling present. Um, blood draws. A blood will be draw, drawn and they'll be testing for certain markers such as AFP, LDH, and HCG. Let's take a look at the nursing management. Look at what it says. It says testicular cancer is one of the most curable types of cancer and absolutely is. It just needs to be caught early, okay? What can be done? Uh, radical orchiectomy. I'm going to go ahead and turn the page. Radical orchiectomy, that's surgical removal of the affected testes, the spermatic cord, and the regional lymph nodes. Post-orchiectomy treatment may involve surveillance, so just monitoring, radiation therapy, chemotherapy. It could be a combination of all three, depending on the stage of the cancer. Ninety-five percent of patients obtain complete remission if, you see I circled that word, if, if the disease is detected in the early stages, and that's the name of the game, guys. This thing is 
curable, but only if it's um, detected early so it can be eradicated. All patients, I'm right here, let me move the arrow right here. All patients with testicular cancer, regardless of pathology or the stage, require surveillance and regular physical exams, chest x-ray CTs, and assessment of ACG and AFP. Now, I already talked to you about the blood draws for the HCG and the AFP. Let me talk to you really quickly about the um, x-ray, chest x-ray, and the CT scan. Those two are done to check for metastasis because we want to make sure that it has not spread to other organs and other areas, okay? Because of the high risk for infertility, the cryopreservation of sperm in a sperm bank before treatment begins, it should be sensitively discussed and recommended for the man with testicular cancer. Because think about the type of treatment that they're going to be getting. So we're going to very be very sensitive about it, but a conversation has to be had if they want to go ahead and store the sperm in the sperm bank, because most likely after treatment, um, they won't be able, they, they may be infertile. So that definitely is a conversation that you are expected to have. You're expected to understand that. And notice I wrote NCLEX next to it. That means NCLEX expects you to know this, okay? And guys, that is your testicular cancer in a nutshell. This was a very short video, but you guys know me. I'm all about the meat and potatoes. I don't believe in fluff. So this is the most important things that you need to know about testicular cancer if you have a test coming up. Everything that I talked about, make sure that you know it for your exam. Please, in the comment section, let me know what you thought about this video. Let me know what you'd like to see me cover next or more extensively. Don't forget, I'm now offering Next Generation NCLEX reviews, one-on-one -on -one tutoring sessions. You can reserve your spot now by going to nexusnursinginstitute.com. While you're there, be sure to check out the audio lessons that I have available. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys will catch me on the next video.